Hey everyone, welcome back to The Mechanical Man today. We're diving into Fusion 360 and learning how to convert a mesh into a solid model. Whether you're working with 3D scans or imported meshes, this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process. Let's jump right in. Step 1. Insert the mesh file. First, open Fusion 360. Once it's loaded, go to the top menu and click Insert, then choose Insert Mesh. Browse to your folder, select the mesh file, and load it into the workspace. You can adjust the dimensions and position of the mesh as needed, then press OK to confirm. Step 2. Generate face groups. Next, switch to the Mesh tab. From there, click on Generate Face Groups. Select the mesh from the drop-down menu, set the type to accurate, and check the preview to ensure everything looks good. Once you're satisfied, hit OK. At this point, you'll see the mesh divided into colored face groups, making it easier to manage. Step 3. Convert the mesh. Now, let's convert the mesh into a solid model. Go to Mesh, then Modify, and select Convert Mesh. Choose the body as the mesh you want to convert. Fusion 360 offers three conversion methods, faceted, prismatic, and organic. Let's, let's explore each one. Step 4. Faceted Conversion. First, we'll try the faceted method. This option converts the mesh into a solid body while retaining the faceted look of the original triangles. It's quick and great for basic applications, but not ideal if you're looking for smooth surfaces. Step 5. Prismatic Conversion Next, we'll go for the prismatic method. After selecting the body as a mesh, set the method to prismatic and hit OK. This generates a surface body that closely follows the geometry of the mesh. If necessary, you can make modifications to fill gaps and stitch surfaces together to create a fully solid model. Step 6. Organic Conversion. Optionally add if needed. For smooth, complex shapes, you can also use the organic method. This approach is best for freeform or natural models. And that's it. With just a few steps, you've transformed a mesh into a solid model in Fusion 360. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more CAD tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.